So you've seen that in order to configure the XML HTTP request object, you use the open method. You assign a JavaScript function to the on ready state change property, which is the callback function. It will be called when the data is downloading and when it's complete. And you send use the send method of the XML HTTP request object to actually interact with the server. So what happens when the data is ready for you to use? How do you know when the data is ready? The downloaded data, which is downloaded behind the scenes using Ajax, how do you know when that is ready to be worked with, available for your use? How do you recover that or the, recover that data? In that case, in this case, what you do is you connect, you've connected a callback function to the on ready state change property. This function starts by checking it's called when it, this function is called whenever there's a change in the downloaded data. So you want to check whether or not the XML HTTP request object's ready state property is set to four. When the ready state property is set to four, that means that the downloaded data is complete. That it's no longer downloading, the data is, is complete, the data has completed, and the data is ready for your use. So you first check to make sure that the XML HTTP request object's ready state property is set to four. In that case, the downloaded data, downloaded using Ajax techniques, is ready for you to work with. And you can, you must also check that the data is in proper form. In other words, that the data was fetched and it actually, you got some data back. And you check that with the XML HTTP request object's status property, as you already know. And the, if that's set to 200, then everything is okay. You were downloaded the data successfully. If it's set to some other value, such as 404, then the file you were trying to download is the, or the URL you were trying to access does not exist. The web server is telling you that. So you can provide for that kind of contingency and display an error message if you like. In this example, however, we just check to make sure that the status property is set to 200. So that is, that's how you work with Ajax asynchronously. You assign a JavaScript function to the on ready state change property and continually monitor what happens with the data as it's being downloaded. When the ready state property is four and the status property is 200, then your data has been downloaded successfully. If you want, you can also add error messages here or error handlers in case the ready state property never does become four or the status property never does hold 200. In this example, we're just downloading text and waiting for the ready state property to become four and the status property to become 200. Once that's occurred, once this if statement has been fulfilled, then your data is ready to be accessed. How do you actually access that data? You can use the XML HTTP request objects response text property. The response text property is what actually holds the downloaded data. If that data is text, if that data is to be treated as XML, you will not use the response text property. Instead, you use the response XML property. However, in this case, the downloaded data is simply text. And so you can use the XML HTTP request objects response text property. Now that, in a nutshell, is Ajax right there that shows how to recover the downloaded text from an URL on a web server using Ajax techniques. In this example, what we're going to do with that downloaded text is assign it to the inner HTML property of that div element that displays the text. The ID of the div element is passed to the get data function. Then use document dot get element by ID and pass the target div element that returns an object corresponding to the target development, which we can use with dynamic HTML. And so you say object.innerHTML, which sets the interior HTML of the development, which currently holds the, the simple text, the fetch data will go here. This line, this statement of JavaScript, sets the development's HTML contents to be the response text property of the XML HTTP request object. So that's how, in a nutshell, that's how the data that's downloaded, the text that's downloaded from the web server appears in the target div element.
right there. That's exactly how it works. So to recap, this is the callback function, JavaScript function assigned to the on ready state change property of the XML HTTP request object. You first check to make sure that ready state, the ready state property of the XML HTTP request object is four. And then you check that the status property of the XML HTTP request object is equal to 200. If both those conditions are met, then your text has been downloaded correctly. And in this case, you can display the text in a target development in the web page by using the response text property of the XML HTTP request object. So that is, in a nutshell, your first AJAX application. And as you can see, it works quite easily. And you just click the button. Immediately, the, t the text is fetched behind the scenes using AJAX without a page refresh. So very nice, very, very workable. As you see, not too much JavaScript was involved. However, you do need to know exactly how to configure the JavaScript in order to get things working.